Flight Tires, welcome back. Have a Max Time Tuesday. Brady with you once more. Gonna tie the Magic Fly. A Magic Fly, nice simple emerging pattern uh, that'll put a lot of fish into the net for you. So we'll whip one up. That was an example, kind of a BWO variation on this. Also popular in PMD and other Mayfly emerging color variations. We'll start it out on our hook, and this is the good old 2488 hook, a uh, heavy version today. You can do it on a lighter wire too if you'd like. And then we got a UTC 70 uh, olive thread running down the shank. And we'll go right on down past that bend. I'm gonna come up just one time to keep that thread from sliding. And then we'll tie in our tails. So I'm gonna use the Mayfly tails it's a light done color on this guy. And we'll tie these in one at a time here. Extra long, so about two lengths of the shank there. Coming off the back. And we'll tie them across the shank so that they sort of stick off on either side. I like to do a couple wraps up above and then without getting it to curl down, go underneath it and sort of prop it up. And then I'll mirror and do that same thing on the side closest to me. It's easier to sneak under the one when you do, the one that's further away, the one that you're seeing closest to you right now, uh, than it is doing it in the opposite way, just because the thread's coming over that way as a right-handed tire. So we'll measure out to the same length and do the same thing on the opposite side. And give it a couple wraps and then you can always test your length just by pinching them together and making sure that they're the same size. A little bit more. There we go making sure they're similar, and then locking them in place with some nice tight wraps. And we'll go up and underneath them one more time there. Keep them from folding down. Let's try that again. There we go. And we're gonna take our thread right on up and sort of work on a little bit of a taper, but a fairly thin bug overall. And we'll go ahead and add in our next material, which is gonna be some Semperfly wire. This is the 0.1 millimeter in the hot green. Has a good contrast, a little bit of a pop to this fly. And we're just gonna try and keep a nice, smooth thread body underneath. So we're on back, covering that all up and then working on forward. And we'll take this pretty much to the end We'll work on a thorax in just a moment up front there. So some open wraps with the wire, doing our segmentation game. Six or seven times. To where that thread's waiting for us. It's a nice little emerging pattern. It's out of the Umqua Feather Merchants catalog. It's created by Chris Passage. So just a nice simple emerging pattern. And I definitely understand where the name comes from. It's a very effective little fly. Something I attribute to this next material, which is the floral fiber. Floral fiber is just an amazing shimmery, 
wing bud, kind of a tractant material. So we'll do a small hank. There's probably about 20 fibers in this clump. Doing a size 16 here today. Can definitely go smaller. All the way down to 22s, 24s if you need to. And we'll tie that in, going right off the back. A couple of hook eyes back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch my thread at this point to my finishing thread. And that's just gonna match the dubbing that we're gonna use here. So we'll tie right over the top of everything and clip out the tag and the olive thread. We're done with that olive thread now. And then we can dub out our thorax with some super fine, some super fine and Adam's gray here. Just sort of staying true to the BWO stylings of this. You could definitely mix this up a bit. Do some rust colors. There's a PMD variation that's really effective. Available from Umqua with a brown body and then like a light Cahill dubbing. But a lot of different things you can do there. Uh, then we're gonna pull this over right around the front and lock that in place up front. And then we're gonna jump on top of it and fold it back. And that gives you the wing coming off. We're gonna dub it just a little bit more to finish off the head. And then we can whip finish out front. Clip our wing. And I like to clip it right about the length of the body here. So a nice long floral fiber wing there. Another thing you can do with your tails, I like to do this sometimes if you take your, your nail on the inside and just sort of Scrape it from the inside, you get a nice curly tail. And just kind of makes it look a little bit more buggy, in my opinion. So they flare out, kind of bend out a little bit. Super simple fly, a great emerging insect, one that you can tie a whole bunch of real quick at the vise, take them out, fish them, and catch a bunch of fish on them. Great, uh, anywhere in the column, it's gonna fish towards the top on that emergence. You can float them as a dry to grease them up and float them. Find uh, with where the fish are, where they want them, and you'll definitely have good success. So that's the magic fly.